on NBC tonight, the rebooted The Weakest Link. It's going to be every Tuesday night at 8 Eastern time, and the host is the lady who put the glee in glee. She puts the marvelous in the marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and most importantly, as we all know, helped Dr. Richard Kimball figure out (laughs) Who switched the samples? Switched samples. <laughs> and saved the day in The Fugitive. She is none other than the four-time Emmy Award winner, Jane Lynch, back here on The Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Jane? I'm so good. I love that you referenced the liver sample mystery from um, The Fugitive. <laughs> That's RG, awesome. Come on, Jane. Let's not forget that way before you won all of these awards, that was a very <laughs> – without you, I mean, Richard Kimball might still be in jail. If so I'm not yeah, mistaken, he'd be, he'd be still on the run. Can you imagine? He'd be like seven years old and still on the run. I'd be still, exactly, and and we don't need that. We know we needed no. we needed we needed the finish that we needed. Exactly, and they, who, who, Tommy Lee Jones would have been still chasing after him. They'd be so tired at this point. Exactly. <laughs> I. By the way, that is maybe one. It's it's in one of my top five remote drop movies. The Fugitive literally I mean, has caused me to miss appointments. Oh. Not go where uh, I need to go. I mean, yeah. it's just it's just a remote drop. So well done. It's such a well done movie. Absolutely, I'm very honored that I had a little part in it. One of my first movie roles. Now, what did you? Was that like Chicago ties that you wound yeah. up in that film? Yeah, you know the woman who was his uh, Andy Davis's who directed it. Right. Uh, his assistant somehow talked him into giving me that part. And it was a part originally written for a guy, which is, I tend to get a lot of those parts in my history. <laughs> and for some reason, he cast me. He didn't even meet me. He trusted her. <laughs> exactly. I know that. Yeah. But what was it like for you, though, to be thrown into a scene with Harrison Ford? What oh, my that? God. You know, it's one of those things. That it, it, uh, I, you're nervous. It's like when I worked with Meryl Streep, too. You're nervous. You know what you're getting into. And you know that this, these are like the biggest stars in Hollywood, and you just have to show up and do your job. You have to like push all that nervousness aside, and you have to be a worker among workers, you know, because if you go in there as like a fan, it's, you're not going to get your job done. So I had the wisdom to know that. So I just showed up, and, uh, you know, it was actor, actor, and we got along very well, and he's not, not the easiest guy to get along with. <laughs> um, and he and I, uh, we, we uh, worked some stuff out together because he didn't like the script for our, for our scene. So we, it was raining that day. We went into his trailer, uh, and he held the umbrella over my head. Okay. And we, we worked out the uh, the dialogue, and um, it, was a, it was a real joy. Hold on a second now. So you're saying it's your first job, okay? Yeah. You, you get the one gig. One of my first jobs. One yeah. of your first jobs. One of your first yeah. film roles. Okay. So you get the gig, Jane Lynch, and yeah. now it's time for the scene, and Harrison Ford's like, this script is garbage. Or something like yeah. that, and yeah. and let's you and I go uh, workshop it. That literally yeah. happened. Yeah, that literally happened. And we workshopped it. And it was great. It was so nice to me, and you know we we worked it out. We like improvised back and forth. We figured it out. Fantastic. It was nice. I mean, I actually worked with him as an actor, and there's nothing like that to like uh, break the spell. You just get to work. And then again, it just cracked the RDU-90 um, code. It just cracked the case wide open. Oh, my gosh. You really, you really remember this. <laughs> Am I freaking you out right now, Jane? Yeah, I... a little bit. I don't... A little bit. Because well... that's the name of the drug, right? That was RDU-90. Yes, correct. The name of the drug, and Dr. Right? Nichols lied to Tommy Lee Jones and all yeah. of that stuff. I guess this is my way. Hang, wait for it. Wait for it. To try and oh. prove to you I'm not the weakest link when it comes to this, <gasps> Jane. Lash. There we Rich go. Eyes. Let's talk about the importance. Let's talk about what's happening right now, here and now. The here and now. The weakest yeah. link returning to our world. And yes. so you are the host of this program. Is, is it the same? Are we, are we getting the same drill pretty much? Is everything? Absolutely. It's the exact same game because okay. why mess with perse- per, uh, perfection? Yes. It's a quiz show. It's rapid fire trivia questions. You, being a smart guy, Thank you. with a wide berth of knowledge, would love it so you need to watch it every week and you need to uh play from your couch while you're while you're watching it um as you know the reference level of the questions goes all over the place it's history it's science it's math it's it's, uh uh uh, arts it's literature um and you need kind of like a a fine general knowledge as well as uh grace under pressure because the clock is going and the stakes are high 
And uh, in terms of your hosting of it, Jane, uh, this is yeah. not your first hosting rodeo, as we know. That's not my first rodeo. Not uh -huh. at all. I've I've been there. I've been in the Hollywood Game <laughs> Night set. I've there. I've played it uh, with Al you Michaels have. and uh, everybody. I've I've been there and I've done that. What fun that was! Oh, what a great episode that was. That was great. a ton of fun, no doubt about yeah. it. So, uh, but with you hosting this, um, yeah. do you channel your inner Ann Robinson, or do you give <laughs> you do you give your own twist on the "You Are the Weakest Link" goodbye? Do you do you, well, your own twist, well, Jane. certainly inspired me. I don't know if you watched it when it was on NBC in the early aughts. Of course. I loved it, and I loved her. So I'm sure she inspires me uh, on some level. But, you know, I had to just – I think the, the, the smartest thing I could do was you, you, you don't imitate her. Just do your own brand. Okay. And so I did my own brand of uh, – you know, severe school marm, which comes to me kind of easily. And, um, so I, I lead with that. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But you, you don't put a different accent like you are the weakest link or, you know. Yes. Every once in a while I do. You know what uh, the uh, uh, our executive producer, Stuart, uh, yes. whispered in my ear once. He said, stress the word weakest. So I, I did that a few. You are the weakest link as Ooh. opposed to the strongest link. So that works sometimes. You know what? It's organic. However I feel <laughs> it, it comes out. You know what I'm saying? So like your derision is real when you're when <laughs> oh, you're yeah. when you're I'm, when you're kicking totally. somebody's ass off weakest your weak ass off the show, right? I don't like, even make eye contact with them. Oh, I just boy. miss them. I and they walk by me and I don't look at them until they're going into the tunnel, which turns bright red as they're walking out like yes. they're going oh, into dante's boy. inferno <laughs> and they're walking into the pit of hell and then i turn around and i stare at the back of them i hear you jane lynch because again yeah. for, for me I'm, I'm an aficionado of game shows and game show hosts you are. The, the, the move that alex trebek makes when somebody gets a question that they should have gotten right oh. wrong okay the thing that oh, he right. does the thing that he does is he gives the the gives the correct or question or answer however you want to put it he doesn't make eye contact he reads the correct response off of a card and circles it or x's it out with his uh marker and the squeaking noise that it makes is to me thoroughly intentional i i do not think it's unintentional at all he is so smooth and so right. good and so straight you yes. think there's nothing going on so he does the lightest smolder and it goes right through you and right through you. you see you know you know mm -hmm. you oh can... i know how to do that <laughs> <laughs> keeps everybody on their toes they want to please me so badly of course you don't and they don't want to be the, it. they don't want to be the weakest link because otherwise then it's goodbye for them i mean you exactly. don't need to do that no that, that Absolutely. starts tonight at 8 eastern on nbc and episodes yeah. will be available right here on peacock uh, okay. The following day as well. Yeah. Uh, do you keep yeah. in touch with DeAndre Hopkins from the commercial that you did, Jane? Do you and DeAndre keep in touch at all or what, no? <laughs> what commercial is that? Oh, my God, you're De blowing my mind. It was DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah. <laughs> right? Wasn't that DeAndre in the NFL commercial that you did, Jane? Oh, I did. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was you just do so at the much, money, man. I don't know who I did it with. <laughs> <laughs> and we, did, you know, what's funny is we didn't do it together. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so sure you did. No, you're sure you did it in one spot. He did it in another. They edited exactly. it together. I mean. Exactly, that's right. Oh my God, how embarrassing! <laughs> I'm like looking at the bottom line. What is this? And if I don't care, what's the bottom line? How much you get? I just didn't know. I didn't know if you were in a fantasy league or anything like so, that sort of thing. No. I have not. Oh, this is terrible. I shouldn't say this on your show, but I have not paid attention to football since 1985 when the Bears won the Super Bowl. And then they broke my heart for the next couple of years. And then I just gave up. I yeah. moved to Los Angeles and I didn't uh, I have no no more affinity. Well, at least you went out with a blaze of glory. I mean, that's yeah. one of that's only one of the best teams of all time. Oh, Jane, I mean, I loved them, loved every one of them. I knew everything about every one of them. So you must have loved the the Super Bowl shuffle. I'm sure absolutely. You I love the refrigerator number 72, how he could jump from, uh, from the ground all the way up onto a table. I don't know if you have William Perry. Have you, have you ever saw him do that? I have not. He weighed about like 350 pounds, and he was able to de dead jump onto the top of a table. Unbelievable. I did not know. That must have been a very strong table. I'll yeah. tell you that. Uh, yes, it would have to be. And then the, yeah. the punky QB, Jim McMahon, punky obviously. Jim sw McMahon. Sweetness. Had a lacerated kidney in one game and continued to play. So did, wait a minute. I think we're going full circle here. 
If there's yeah. a kidney sample in Chicago. Oh, oh. for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> there's a little kidney thing going on there. I was it Jim the McMahon's? <laughs> was it Jim McMahon's sample that got switched? Jane Lynch. Oh, my. Could it? Could it? We're connecting dots, dots here like crazy. <laughs> We just went full circle. I don't know how I don't know how I can ask you another question other than to yeah, say I, I love our That's it. That's gotta be a mic drop, right? Thanks for yeah, joining, Jane. Good. You take care of yourself. Oh, this is great. I always love our chats and congrats on uh, on being part of this uh, latest venture for you in your Thank stellar you. career. I can't wait to watch it tonight and then tomorrow if I miss it on Peacock. Thanks for the call, Jane. You take care. You bet. Take care. Rick. You got it. Bye -bye. Jane Lynch, everybody.